Today, live streaming of sporting events is on the rise and it's a great time to get in on the action. When it comes to live streaming of sporting events, it has several advantages including global reach, new revenue opportunities and choice for consumers. Hi, this is Manas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream local sport events via Movie Live. Movie Live lets you broadcast local sport events from multiple cameras to your website, to your mobile app, to your TV app. Also, it enables you to record live streams and convert them into standard on-demand content. To live stream any sporting event, you need few things beforehand. For example, you need a streaming platform like Movie Live, you need streaming encoders like OBS, Switcher Studio, Webcast, Streamlabs. You need few equipments like camera, tripod, microphone. Also, you need a strong network connection. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream local sport events in a step-by-step -step process. First, you need to sign up to Movie Live. Visit www.movie.com. Go to all products. Click on Movie Live. Click on free trial to start your 14 days free trial. Type all your details. Click on next. This is your Movie Live CMS. If you want to purchase Movie Live subscription, click on purchase subscription and purchase your Movie Live subscription here. So to live stream any sporting event, first you need to add a live streaming content here. Click on add live stream to add your live streaming content. The live streaming name and description in the source select connect and coder and also you can select any field url if you have an existing url and you want to live stream using that existing url i'm selecting connect encoder so that i can show you how to live stream using a camera and we will need a third party encoder to live stream and uh, in the recording you have you can select recording option if you want to record your live streaming event and then you can access it once the live streaming is stopped you can access the recordings from the recordings library and this feature is only available uh, to the paid subscribers so once you will purchase the subscription then you can access this feature and again we have one other feature that is enable drm so this is also available to paid subscribers and if you will enable this feature so you can protect your live streaming from piracy and then you can select the nearest server location so this uh, option allows you to select your nearest server and uh, here i am selecting mumbai so this is my server i have selected so if you select your nearest server location and there will be a buffer free live streaming click on save to save your live streaming content and uh, you can repeat this process to add multiple live streaming content and after adding the live streaming content you have to click on start stream to start the live stream or launch the live server just click on start stream and it will take some time to launch the live streaming server so as you can see the live streaming server is launched and uh, the stream url and stream key is gen generated which you can use in the streaming encoder and these are the streaming encoders that you can use to live streaming your sporting event. You can use OBS, Vmix, Feature Studio, Streamlabs and Podcast. Uh, I have already downloaded and installed OBS and I am going to show you how to live stream using the OBS encoder. So this is OBS or Open Broadcast Software and I have already downloaded and installed it. Uh, on the bottom left you can see this plus icon click on here add a scene so we can add a scene name here then click on ok so i have already added a scene next to it you can add a source just click on the plus icon to add a source so you can add different source so here i am showing you how to add a source like a video capture device as a source so you can use any camera that is attached to your laptop as a source and you can live stream or sporting event from that camera so in this case, I have selected my laptop's camera as a source. So I'm going to show you how I'm live streaming using my laptop's camera. So if you have any other camera that is uh, like a you know, action camera or any DSL camera that is attached to your laptop, you can also use the camera as a source. And then click on OK. So source will be added. So after that, uh, click on the file, then go to 
click on settings and uh, then click on stream and uh, in the service we will select custom from the drop down and uh, you will get the server and stream key in uh, movie live let's go back to movie live again so from movie live you just need to copy the stream url then you need to paste it here in the encoder and then again we will go back to movie live where we will copy the stream key so stream key is unique to each live streaming content that means if you have created five different live streaming content so five different live stream keys will be generated for that so paste the stream key here and click on apply and you click on ok so now we have already started the live streaming in movie live as you can see and now we are going to start it from the encoder so on the right hand side click on start streaming and wait for some time and you will see a green band here that means uh, we are connected so we are connected and we are live streaming so let's go back to movie live and see the preview of the live streaming just click on preview and you can watch the preview of the live streaming so this is the preview of the live streaming you can see so now i'm going to show you how you can share live streaming with your end users you can click on the embed link so embed link of the live streaming will be generated and uh, you can use the embed link to share your live streaming anywhere so i'm showing you how you can use it just uh, copy this embed link so this is how your live streaming you can share using the embed link and how it will look like to the end users you can also use the shareable link just click on shareable link so shareable link will be generated and you can copy it and send it to the end users and they can uh, just copy paste it in the on their browser and they can view the live streaming this is how your integers can view the live streaming from the shareable link you can also click on output hls and uh, generate the hls url of the live streaming and you can share it on your website or app and your integers can view live streaming from this hls url so these options are usually available uh, in the uh, Version like if you will become a paid subscriber, then you can access these options like an embed link, shareable link, and output HLS to share your live streaming content. If you want to stop the live streaming, you can stop it from the encoder. So you can go to uh, stop live streaming here and click on stop live streaming to stop the live streaming. And if you want to resume it again, you can just click on start streaming and resume the live streaming again. But if your sporting event is completed and you want to completely stop the live streaming, so we will suggest that you should stop it from the server. That means from here you just need to click on stop stop streaming and click on confirm. Because if you will keep on you running the live server here, so you will be charged additionally for that. So once the live streaming is stopped and if you have enabled the recording option, then your recordings will be available after the live streaming. Now as you can see the recording is now available in the recording library and uh, you can click here to download the recording. You can also preview the recording before downloading it. It will show you the preview of your live streaming. And then if you wish you can also delete the recording of your live streaming. You can also live stream from mobile. So to live stream from mobile you need to install the mobile app you can install the android app or ios app on your mobile device and you can directly create live streaming content on your mobile app and then you can start live streaming from your mobile app we have created another video for that you can watch the link mentioned in the description below on how to live stream using the movie live app Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel to watch latest informative videos on audio and video streaming solutions.